Before work, the director of the Christian Medical College Valor, Dr. Sunil Chandy, likes to stand by the front gate of the main hospital. He finds that observing the arrival of so many needy people helps him focus on his tasks for the day ahead. It also reminds him of the bigger challenges for CMC in a rapidly changing India. I have been given a mandate to respond to the changes and challenges that we see in our country. India is in rapid transition, there's a lot more uh, affordability that our patients have. There's been a social migration from below poverty line to low middle class. There's a changing expectation of people in terms of uh, health infrastructure and the way hospitals should function. You know, India has always been plagued by infectious diseases such as malaria, filaria, leprosy and tuberculosis, but that's rapidly changing now. It's now being replaced by the lifestyle diseases such as hypertension, diabetes, heart disease, psychiatric illnesses and road traffic accidents, which is now placing a huge burden on our institution. It's still early, but the accident and emergency wards are already full. And this is just a normal day at CMC. We have about uh, 10 to 12 uh, major road accidents a day, of which one or two may be what's called mass casualty incidents, like a head-on collision between a truck and a bus or a jeep and a truck, which brings us multiple patients with the same degree of severe injury at the same time to the emergency. So it requires a large number of manpower, it requires infrastructure, it requires systems, it requires emergency care, it requires intensive care. So this is where our deficits are at the moment. And because CMC is the largest hospital in a 200 kilometer stretch between Chennai and Bangalore, uh, people look up to CMC to provide the best care in this most horrible situation. It's embarrassing to have a situation where we say our beds are full, our intensive care is full and therefore go away. Because this is the group of uh, patients who just can't move because their heads are smashed and they're bleeding from all over the place. So it will be very sad if we reach a state where we cannot cope and we seem to have reached that and that's why we are on a war footing to expand our trauma care services. The director knows only too well that meeting the increasing demands on CMC services and resources is an immense challenge. CMC has always responded to the needs of the society at uh, different points in time. This facility is no longer enough for the large number of patients that we are seeing. And I'm conscious of this myself when I look at the crowds that come in on a Monday morning that we, there is a demand supply mismatch which we can no longer justify. We now have 7,000 patients, outpatients who come to us a day, 2,600 inpatients who are accommodated largely in this main hospital campus. We feel it's very important now to create new infrastructure and take out some of the specialties from here to a new campus so that the patient load gets spread out in a better and in an optimum way. So to meet these new challenges, we are planning to build a brand new hospital. This is a thousand bedded complex which will house the new lifestyle disease departments like cardiology, neurosciences, cancer sciences, and most importantly, trauma which will open out a service facility for this large number of trauma care patients who come off the roads, which will be a state-of-the-art hospital, but it will be designed in such a way that it will be accessible for all sections of society, the poor, the affording, the not so affording. And we believe that what we will offer will be a new model for the rest of the country in terms of the infrastructure and in terms of how we are going to run this hospital. We need a large amount of money and we have to generate that by borrowing, by creation of endowments from donors and we have already set in motion systems that will help us to get that money as quick as possible. The time is ripe, the time is now for us to create this because it will take us three, four years to make this hospital by which time there will be even more patients who will need the care that we are planning for to be in this new hospital. In 10 years time, uh, we dream that CMC's trauma center will be 
the referral trauma center not only for the state, not only for the country, but even for countries that surround us. So the more people give, the easier it will be for us to make this dream possible. For inspiration, Dr. Chandy makes regular visits to the site of the new hospital at Kanigapuram. We believe that everything we do, whether it's healthcare, patient care, service of research, is rooted in the values that the Christian faith teaches us. Mm -hmm.